That was Senator Ted Cruz defending his support of legislation ending the federal government's bulk collection of phone metadata. But the terrorist attacks in Paris and San Bernardino have many questioning this move. Joining us now on the phone for a first on Fox Business interview is former Senate Majority Leader, former Republican presidential nominee, and Jeb Bush supporter Bob Dole. Sir, good to have you on the program. Thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you, Maria. I appreciate it. Let, let me get your take first on the, the, uh, the debate over technology companies and whether or not this is a slippery slope. If technology companies do give us all their user, user data, give the government user data, when does it end? Do you agree that technology companies need to allow government to be watching the data so that they can better track terrorists? Yes, I do agree, and I think if they don't do it voluntarily, there should be a law passed that would require it. Well, a law to require it, but when does it end, sir? I mean, I think that's probably why uh, Senator Cruz voted against it. Now, of course, we're second-guessing it after we know that they were so active on social media, the California terrorists. Um, but, but isn't there a question about privacy and, and people's rights? Oh, certainly. You know, I think there's a very fine line that we have to make certain that we walk to protect privacy. But on the other hand, I think Senator Cruz voted to weaken NSA's ability to collect data. We're not we're talking we're not talking about conversation between me and you. We're talking about picking up conversations or phone numbers that in, might tip us off to some terrorist activity or proposed activity. So you think there can be a middle ground where people's privacy are protected, but that government and the FBI in particular has the ability to see user data so that they can better track terrorists? Right. I'm not. I'm not there anymore, so I don't know all the details. But there ought to be some targeted way to work it out to protect privacy and still not interfere with the efforts to collect data that might lead you to some radicalized American or someone from some other country. Yeah, to be sure, Governor Bush said this can be done and, and, and also people's rights can be protected as well. Who do you think won the debate last night, Senator? Well, of course, I, I think it was Jeb Bush's best showing in all the debates. I, if I had to pick four, it would be Christie and Bush, Fiorina, and Rubio. Okay, so that's your that's your four: Christie, Bush, Fiorina, and Rubio. You know, there was a lot of debate about Ted Cruz and whether or not he did well. But the at the end of the day, whether he can actually win a general election. Now, you have been quoted as saying, "Look, Ted Cruz does not have a single Senate supporter. Why is that?" Well, it's because they don't like him. Why? Because he's so extreme. I mean, I think most Republicans are traditional. Republican conservative. But Ted Cruz is very bright, very smart, a good debater, but he's way off. Well, he's an extremist. I mean, he holds these extreme conservative views that, supported by some of his big donors, oil companies primarily, and, you know, he, and he calls Senator McConnell on the Senate floor. A liar, which you know, I was there 28 plus years, and I never heard of such a thing. It violates Senate rules. You don't attack your colleague. You want to call someone a liar, you go to their office, out on the Senate floor. And he used to say, you remember President Dole? You remember President McCain? You remember President Romney? In other words, we were all liberals, and he was the only... Yeah. So, so you say extreme, for example, uh, for allowing the government to shut down, for example, twice. Twice, right. yeah, that's been his largest achievement is shutting down the government, which I think deprives a lot of federal workers 
been shut down long enough getting their pay unless their, unless their bill has been passed and appropriations passed. But uh, I don't know. I just, I, you know, we've got to worry about keeping Senate control, keeping 35 governors if we can, and keeping the House. I don't believe Senator Cruz, I know he appeals to the far right, but I don't believe, well, I think we'd lose the number of our colleagues in the Senate, House, and governors. Yeah, yeah. What do you think?